because sometimes my wife gives them tasty treats from the golf cart, so they're all excited to see me. But I wanted to really talk about this golf cart with you for a second. Um, we have started to rework the farm that we have here. Uh, it's 55 acres, and we are redoing it in terms of fencing, how we farm, how we raise our cows, and possibly even changing breeds of cows. I'm sorry, guys, I didn't mean to say that. Um, we are, um, hey Buster, I'm going to start doing a series, a playlist on regenerative agriculture, homesteading, homestead consulting, kind of all wrapping into one prop, one playlist and um, redoing the farm. Uh, what do you mean by that? I'm redoing my fencing, redoing how I remove my cows, uh, kind of looking at a lot of Greg Judy's videos. And so shout out to Greg Judy as he always farmed a conventional way and was losing money and then he changed over to what he's doing today and he does an awesome job teaching people. So just uh, between him, Joe Salatin, and a few others, I'm just kind of copying what they've been doing. I've had these cows here for 20 years, not these, but others. And um, so I'm just kind of having fun, want to redo the farm. Let me talk to you about it. The first thing I want to talk about in this video is this golf cart. So um, just a little angle to the, got to add some technology to my farm homesteading playlist here. Let me show you. But to help me do all this work, besides Elijah, um, we have gone to golf carts. And what I'm, why golf carts? Partially because of Greg Judy and his, you know, making sure you don't drive heavy equipment out on your, your supper, on your dinner table and kill all the microbes in the grass. You don't want to compact your soil any more than you have to and so a golf cart with a larger tires really spreads the load out doesn't compact it um, you, yes i could go with a four-wheeler but i find the golf cart more sustainable and how did i do that well i added a solar panel to the roof this has been six months i have not plugged this baby into uh, the grid running off of the Genesun Boost charge controller. So I take that solar panel voltage and boost it high enough that it will charge a 48 volt battery bank. Standard lead acid, flooded Trojan battery bank. I have two golf carts, two workhorses. That I also have changed out the standard 225 amp controllers and put 400 amp controllers in both golf carts. So they'll climb any hill I have on the farm here. And, uh, Pickens County, South Carolina. So this is a great workhorse. We have hitches and trailers. We use them for a lot of different things, but feeding the cows or um, rolling off hay, you name it, or going out and just fixing fences, which I've been doing a lot of. We're going to replace all the fence. That's a project in and of itself. I have a really awesome driver for my excavator. So we're going to be redoing about 15,000 feet of fence, woven wire. And uh, don't step in that stuff. Uh, anyway, so this golf cart, like I said, with the uh, Genesun boost controller and a standard solar panel, uh, which just doubles as a roof, and it works fantastic. I did add some stabilizers, just playing around. This style of golf cart, this isn't as stable as the other one I'll show you that we're doing right now. So we just bring the MC4 wires down. The hookup's really easy. There's different styles of this and you have your battery positive negative and your panel positive negative hook it up to the positive negative of your battery and you are in business really simple install we're just using unistrut and i'll show you the next one's even simpler so if you want to get your golf cart to be sustainable meaning you do not ever have to plug it into the grid um that's what we have found for six months that's what we've done with the cushman hauler 800 just live off of that panel it's kind of fun so anyway, that there'll be, let me show you the other golf cart that we're having process and maybe that'll show a little more detail of what I'm talking about. 
But instead of using a four-wheeler or a side-by-side -side UTV, truck, tractor, we use the golf carts on the farm to keep from uh, compacting our soil. And they have plenty of torque with a 400 amp controller to pull trailers, to do a lot of work. And so we've just had fun with it. Let me show you the other one. And again, just pretty steep incline, just but no problem climbing, climbing the hill. And uh, with the 400 amp control, it just makes a big difference. You can see the girls are, they're used to the golf carts now. They, they look longingly at the golf cart. And this is the key that gets them. Listen to this. And if I hit it, put it in reverse, when they hear that sound, they just go nuts. Because my wife will give them treats and they will come a running. Now, I'm already out here, so they're not running. But if they hear this sound, they come. So it's uh, also a Pavlov's dog training tool, the golf cart reverse beep. All right, let's go see the other golf cart. Okay, so here we're working on the one in progress. This is just a, this is a golf cart. It's been awesome. We've had it for, I don't know, seven years. Just, just have beat on it. The tires are getting bald, but... We're gonna see if we can, uh, see it's just rough. <laughs> but I did add the 400 amp controller. That's kind of pricey. They're about six, $700, but what a difference it makes. You can, you can drive this thing over a mountain, but um, it really does make a huge difference. And uh, it's a must if you got some hills and just a must if you wanna have some fun but that is expensive. So what we're gonna do is find a place to put the Genesun boost controller. And this one is actually the waterproof potted version. Let's show it to them. Yeah, same lead acid. Um, yeah, the model number on this, if both carts are 48 volt, the GVB8WB, WP boost, but it's a little different look. Everything's potted in there so it can just go through the mud and the cow patties and get it done. And it, Pretty easy connections, battery positive, battery negative, panel positive, panel negative. And so we're gonna hook that one up. And that one has an inline fuse that comes with it. So we just gotta route our MC4, our, our, ca our cables down, down the frame. Everything's black, it's pretty easy to do. And we'll find a place to mount the charge controller that is kind of out of the way. And then uh, we'll hook this one up. And this one will be sustainable. And that is all we're doing, nothing fancy. Sometimes, you know, we do add, you can add LED lights and uh, other things to it. It's kind of crude, but very effective at night, trying to find a calf or a mama having a calf. It's nice to have that kind of light. And uh, that's it. We'll be back to show you the final placement of the charge controller. And it'll be very much like the Cushman. So these are just used carts, nothing brand new. Um, we're just doing a little solar upgrade to them and making them sustainable. And they do not tear up the pasture. This one's been such a workhorse. We have a, a, one of those polar trailers that will haul a ton of wood, haul a lot of wood. So we just hook it up with a two-inch ball um, and, uh, and haul that around. If you need to haul hay or haul feed or haul mineral blocks or fence posts or kids, you can do it with these golf carts. They have plenty of torque. So don't think you need to spend money and buy a $20,000 UTV unless you just want one. You can afford it. But there's a lot of golf carts around there that if you find, we got these panels real cheap in bulk. They were about 115 bucks a piece. And so that's charging forever on solar. Okay, we'll be back with the final version. Let me know if you have any questions. The golf cart is now an official farm vehicle. We ain't no golfers around here. And uh, we're just wrapping this up. This one was uh, just the way the frame is designed. It's a little stiffer than the other one, which I like. So, cause this one is the one that gets abused on the farm the most. So we've got the waterproof Genesun charge controller in there you see it flashing away it's the end of the day end of a rainy day it's not making much power it's only about 50 watts going in here but this car is outside most of its life so now we won't have to plug it in anymore and uh, that's it so what we do we just took the standard plastic roof off and took two pieces of unistrut we put some strut nuts 
in there and bolted it to the strut nut with a quarter 20 bolt. So this is a, a lot more robust than using a solar clamp, mid clamp that we used on the other design. A little pivot in here. So it's just bolted together, nothing fancy, but it's super strong. I could flip this golf cart over with that solar panel and uh, super tough and it's charging. So like I said, this thing sits out all the time. Just did a little touch up with uh, battery maintenance, little um, top the water, distilled water off and she's charging. So now we're just gonna use it. So it, it's, a, it's a roof and a charger all in one. So very easy to do because of the Genesun charge controllers. And uh, you can check them out on the website, Practical Preppers, we have them. The link will be in the description. Uh, or you can go to practicalpreppers.com, pick yourself up a Genesun. I know a couple of people that have golf carts that are ready to do this. I just wanted to kind of, this video is for them and for anybody else that wants to give it a try. It's super easy. And these are just 60 cell panels. If you had 72 cell, they'd be about uh, 12 inches to uh, 13 inches longer than, than these. So you can do this with one single solar panel and a boost controller. All right, folks, this is the beginning of our regenerative agriculture video. So we're put together our two workhorses that are gonna help us with fencing, taking care of the animals, and uh, just doing chores around the farm. Okay, folks, any questions? This is Engineer 775 signing out.